Hello everybody, my name is Lorna Bennett and I am a children's book illustrator. Today we are going to draw a tiger from the book Dot to Dot in the Sky, Stories of the Moon. And we're going to draw a cartoon version, I believe it's in the back of the book. Now there is the oil painting I did for the book, but we are going to do a fun one together. So let's get started. Pencil in the drawing hand. With your other hand, I want you to take your pointer finger and put it in the very, very middle of your piece of paper. And then let it go down about a centimeter or two. And right where your finger is, I want you to draw a little smile. And I call this an ice cream smile because it's ice cream, but not necessarily your favorite kind. But let's turn this into a favorite ice cream smile. There we go, an open mouth smile. Now I want you to close your eyes and imagine the keyboard that goes with your computer and look, look at the brackets in your mind's eye. Imagine what they look like. We are going to draw a pair of brackets on either side of this. Well, it looks like a toenail clipping to me, but it is a nose. So let's draw one. It goes out to the side, back towards the middle, out to the side, back towards the middle. They come closer together, but they don't touch. And the next thing we're going to do is draw a pair of circles. They kind of look like balloons on a string. Now, our next set of circles are going to create two very skinny donuts. Now inside those donuts, near the top, we're going to draw a little circle on each side. Now we're going to color in that skinny donut, but we're not going to color in that little circle. That little circle is negative space because nothing is happening there. But negative space often becomes something, and in this case, these two little white circles are shiny spots or a reflection of light. If this tiger was walking out of the jungle late at night and the moon was out, the tiger would have one reflection of light in each eye. Now some students, when we draw this picture together, say that it looks like frog eyes. And so let's make a frog popsicle by drawing one vertical line under the nose. And then we will draw a nice big smile on either side. Now let's think about fangs. You can do itty bitty baby fangs, big saber tooth fangs, or you can do just some medium sized fangs, which is what I'm doing. Now cats that we have at home, house cats, have very small chins compared to the rest of their face. But tigers have very large chins compared to the rest of their face. Now let's go back up to the top of our picture and let's make a medium sized hill over top of this tiger, which becomes a forehead. If you make it a forehead that's too small, it'll look like a mouse when you put the ears on. If it's way too big, your tiger will look like a monkey, but if it's just the right size, it will look like a tiger. Now to me, a tiger's ears look like pieces of pancake. So let's draw a piece of pancake on either side. And you can see my ears aren't even the same size, but that's okay, because we're just having fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now the next thing that we're going to do is draw a forward falling letter C to describe the shape of that tiger's ear. And then if you want to do a little bit of ear fluff, you can. And the next step is the tiger's cheeks. Now tigers are quite furry and have very big cheeks. So let's go out to the side, down towards the bottom, and touch the chin. And the same on the other side. Now there are a few things that make a tiger look like a tiger and not a dangerous, terrifying hamster, which is what I think this looks like. The first thing you'll probably think of is tiger stripes, and you would be right. So we will do some stripes last, but there are some other things. Now tigers have a black stripe that comes out the outside of their eye and they kind of have what looks like black eyeliner 
that goes around their eye. And I'm not sure why that is, but maybe it's because of the glare of the sun. Now, tigers have white lips, white chins, white whiskers, and black whisker spots. So let's make some dots on the tiger's lips. A tiger's whiskers are white and they are so thin that we want to draw with a very light hand. We want to do nice curving whiskers that are coming out of a whisker spot. There. Now I think we could put some little nostrils in the tiger's nose. It would make it look more like a nose. Now we're not going to paint or, or draw realistic tiger stripes. We're making this into a cartoon. So we're just going to do little ziggy zags. Zigzag, zigzag. Now it looks much more like a tiger than a hamster. Oh, the one thing I forgot was the tiger's eyebrows. Tigers have a stripe above their eyes that does kind of look like eyebrows. So I always like drawing that in too. So let's just do some little eyebrows up here. There, we have a gorgeous tiger. Now always make sure to sign your art. And I would like to thank the Young Alberta Book Society for making this video possible. Have a great day.